it's a great life, right? So I, I honestly thought getting to the gym looked look, like a grind. Yeah, it just looked like it. You know, fair play to the people that did it. They might have got bigger, better, however they wanted to be, but to me, it just looked like how could you enjoy it? Running around kicking a ball or swinging a golf club's fun to me. Didn't see how a gym would be, but I've totally been proved wrong. I actually now don't just train to stay fit as part of it, obviously, and get stronger, but I actually enjoy the sessions. It's just enjoyable. Um, I think I was up at about uh, 20 to 22, 23% body fat, just under 14 stone. I'm at 62. That was, you know, it's not. I wasn't terribly out of shape, but if you look at the kind of charts and stuff, then I guess I was at the upper end of healthy. And just naturally, what's happened over the time is I've probably dropped to, well, I have dropped over a stone and a half. I'm down at like over 12 stone. But probably more importantly, I've swapped. You know, I've just traded the body fat out, so muscle levels stayed the same, and I'm down at about I don't know, 12, 13 percent body fat. Couldn't be happier. So basically, uh, you know, training-wise, I could probably go for a run now and again, and it was so sporadic. Now I'm um, twice a week training. I've learned so much. I mean, you know, the amount of exercises and weight resistance training that I've learned has been unbelievable. I'd never done it before. To be honest, thought it would look fairly simple that you do, you know, you learn an exercise and that's it. It's kind of done. What changed diet a little bit, but not massively. It's kind of just evolved naturally. George gave me a bit of advice on nutrition gave me a target in terms of calories to hit, coupled that with protein level, and really just aiming for that meant I naturally found my way with food. And it's more looking back that I realised what I don't eat, as opposed to at the time thinking I shouldn't eat. I love pushing myself, see what you can do, see what you can achieve. Learning new exercises, new ways of challenging your body, it's fantastic. The rush that you get after working out, it just kept you know, mentally, it just, kicks you on into everyday life. You just leave your sessions feeling a lot more positive. I was in a place last year that was okay, but I knew I wasn't as happy and positive as I could be. The change since last year has been incredible on that front. The passion that George as a coach has in Tent 91 coaches is, is incredible. They're, they're more invested in what we as a community are doing, and that's the other thing really, the people, the people that are part of it. I never really thought that I'd, by training, starting to train with them, I'd get, you know, I was on one-to-one -one sessions, but I've got to meet other people that, that train, train with George and his crew. So building that community is really helpful. You don't feel alone when you're going into a gym. Would I recommend it? I, I think like, do you know what? More than recommend it, this should be something that we're taught I'm 43 now, this is something we should be taught when we're kids, how to train properly, um, how to look after our body. It's nice to see the world moving that way a bit more these days than when I was younger, but it, all I can think about is if, if, if only I trained like this and I was as strong as I am now, when I started playing, you know, whatever sport I wanted, whether that was football, I loved all sports, but if, you know, before I started playing football, how much, how much more helpful would that have been and made my enjoyment of that sport even better? It would have been awesome, wouldn't it? So it's not about recommending really in, in a way. I think it just should be a way of life.